We were in the middle of something very epic when I was interrupted by my camera's short battery life. Achoo! Achoo! Guess I'm allergic to the twilight. Or maybe I'm allergic to batteries. So what's going on, Midna? I'm curious. Huh? Well, I guess she doesn't tell us. Because I really don't get it. Totally, but... Oh well. So how about we head on to Farron Woods? Warp. So yes, now we can warp anytime we want, basically. Um... There's never again going to be a point in the game where we can't warp. Well, except for, like, if we're in a dungeon. But yes, we want to warp to... North Farron Woods, and I'm going to need the guidebook pretty soon. Uh, let's, um... While we're here, how about we get that treasure chest we missed. This is one of the treasure chests we missed. The other one, we're still going to need our lantern. Yes, this is a treasure chest we could have gotten back in, like, part four or five. I stupidly missed it. And I stupidly missed it again on the way to the forest temple. Oh, it's a monkey! Ah. Uh, Uh-oh. What are these? Well, these are enemies that are not that hard, but they're very annoying since they come in great numbers. They were included in Super Smash Bros. Brawl Subspace Emissary. Okay, and I don't know why. A bunch of en better enemies you could have chosen from. Yeah, I climbed over there. So, yes. It's more to Farron Woods. But yeah, this is a treasure chest I missed twice right over here. I mean, just ten rupees. But come on. There's another section of foot beyond this hill. Let's go. See, it's mid that's fully healed. We can warp. We can jump. And we can do our B attack, but we haven't tried yet. Yeah, there we go. And as you can see, it's orange now and not pink. Because it's only pink in the twilight. That's kind of interesting. So it's a windy day, so we just gotta wait until... It's just so funny how, like, if it wasn't a windy day, then we'd have to wait and come back when it was a windy day. Oh, make it. And what is this? This is our fourth Howling Stone. It's the prelude of light. This is the real prelude of light. I thought that, um... What I think? Yeah, I thought that the eagle or the hawk song actually kind of sounded like the prelude of light. And it does. It's the same six notes. But this one actually really does, like, the, the length of the notes is the same. Teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. And where is he? He is in South Hyrule Field. Well, not quite South Hyrule Field, but south of Castle Town. And so now we go into the equivalent of the Lost Woods known as the Sacred Grove in this game. And it's a beautiful remix of Saria's song. Or Saria's song. I call her... I call her Saria. And we have another one? But you might notice that the design on this one is different. 
so it's not exactly the same kind of howling stone. And it's all swallowed by this time. Okay, Link, Wolf Link didn't do a very good job uh, of howling the end of that, but oh well. Still got that handcuff or that paw cuff. Yeah, why do they call it a handcuff? Because it goes around your wrist. And so that's showing to the Skull Kid and his army. But at least he opens the way for us somehow. And these guys are very annoying. What's the main that I have to say? No matter how many times you defeat these things, they keep coming back. We gotta weigh down a field of dark energy and beat them all at once. So it's kind of like the uh, Shadow Beasts. So you, you, you really gotta follow, follow his music. And when you hear that it sounds like the Deku Pipes from Majora's Mask, that's where he is. Now hopefully I've got it memorized, and if not, well then I'll have a hell of a time. But this one is... yeah, this isn't that hard. And the thing that really sucks about this place is that there is no map. The guidebook has a beautifully drawn out map, but not this, not the king. So he went back here, and he went this way. Did he go up here? I mean, just listen for the Deku Pipes. No, and you go there. Let's get one this way. Wait, no, this is back to the main room. Oh, wait, no, it's not. I know where, I know where he is. Hear the music starting to change? Uh-oh, okay, stop beating me up. Aw, cheater. Oh, I guess I didn't get him there. Uh-oh. You can hear him starting to blow. He won't escape from you. Well, not until after you hit him. So, make sure you know where he went. Watch closely. And, like, see, they don't really show you exactly. But I think he went back into the main room, or this way. I think he went over here. Oh, he's up there. In order to get up there, you have to go around here to the so-called second floor. So hey, this didn't go that badly. As you can see, this door is now open. Skull Kid's on the other side. There he goes. So now we're here. And now, whoa! There he is. And now it turns into a boss battle. Look at that Joker face. From moon, it's like the moon from Majora's Mask. Now, a lot of people think that this Skull Kid is actually Link from Ocarina of Time. Like, the people that think that the Majora's Mask is, you know, only happening in Link's mind. Like, it kind of falls under that, that Link turned into a Skull Kid. Just some, some theories, you know. Yeah, so you gotta hit him when he's blowing his flute. 
I remember a lot of people flooding Nintendo Capri Sun's video with that. Get him when he blows his flute! Ooh, it's a heart. Yeah, the spin up attack is a little, seems kind of useless compared to, you know, this attack. Plus, the range is not as long as the, the sword. Yeah, you might be tempted only soon, right? Okay. And we've already hit him twice, so now he summons an army of six or seven. Ah! Shake it! You don't have to do a target attack all the time. Hee hee hee! Bye! Well, of course, that can't be Link, because Link doesn't talk in text. I see a bomb rock there, and you're, you're just wishing you were a human right now. But that will happen soon. So we're looking for the blade that can, the evil can never touch, and that's here. Next video, we will do this.